Hello and welcome back to High on Life. Oh shit! I think that's a photo of the famous dude who invented translator microbes. Really? Why the fuck does he know Douglas? You wanna fuck these guys up? Who gives a shit? Figure it out already. I just need another one. Great. Perfect. Now hurry and cross before it wears off. Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3 too. And I know. try loading the bubble up with my crystal. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. Ah, we're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlian. Hmm. No, we get Trash big babies number nine farting freely just a guy who farts nothing too special not even that funny but yeah he absolutely does just fart all the time constantly he does it on purpose too he pushes him out even when he doesn't go to do it he's sick in the head Right, we can go back home. <laughs> I completely forgot that we are supposed to turn in those bounties. Oh. Hey, kid. Another one down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after you turn in your bounty. Okay. Okay, looks like we don't have any other bounties at the moment. Alright, good. Get over here. Yeah. Check this out. Hello. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the... Alright, right. now catch this next bit. But that's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into the You hear that? Hands. He's talking about you! Incredibly, they've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful... Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my... Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you go. Oh, what? great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. I say we hear him out. 
Where's my sister? Sis? This is your bedroom? Okay. Come mm. on. You know how hard it is to get a meeting with the magistrate? Don't keep him Wait, waiting. Where's my sister? Hey, where the hell are you going? Go talk to Clug. Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Remember him? Oh, I can take out Knifey. What a shame. Oh, I have a bad feeling about that. Hello? Hi? Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician oh. wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Okay. What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems. Assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. Uh. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Hmm, I don't think... nope. Nope. Mm -mm, that's horrible. Let's head out unless you have some interesting in here, maybe? Nope. Okay. Oh, oh uh, you're one of them. Feel free to stay as long as you'd like. I know you're one of them. Yo! So... <laughs> It went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. I know. Jump into my brain. Mm, never mind. Maybe we'll look for a sister as well. Hey. Wait, what? Hey. Oh, thank God, I missed the action. Oh. Right, just back. Hey, asshole! Come over here oh, right now! Sorry for yelling. 
and calling you an asshole, but I need you to come over here right now and buy my illegal shit! What's that guy yelling about? Illegal stuff? I is he talking to us? He is. What's up? My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Um... Um... Wait, how's business? Why are you here selling alien cum? Is there seriously an actual market for that? I consider it policy not to ask my clients why they want the gallons and gallons of alien cum they buy from me. I figure the less questions I ask about what people are doing with all this alien cum, the better. So, are you buying or nay? Do we look like we want that? Did we look like people that would want to buy alien cum? Sure. Look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. But they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographics. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no, sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what what's it going to be? You want some alien cum or not? You wait, hold, wait, hold, hold, hold the phone. What the fuck? You sell alien cum? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. Okay. All right, uh, listen, we thought it over, and we'll take some alien cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum? I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off of free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Blim City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. No. no. Ah, looking for more Ooh. alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. Okay, you saw I don't know why. Okay. He just tries so hard. Hi. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Oh. Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck, god damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Hey, let's go and buy those first. Excellent choice. Nice going. You really know how to spot a good deal. Your partner. I'm just buying everything at this point. Uh, not that much. Thanks. God, I hate giving this stuff up. Yeah. Okay. So this, all of that, is for guns. Have a wonderful 16, day. please. No. Hello, this is Blorter from the food stand near house in Blim City. Oh, and I have no money. If you're ever hungry, just swing on by for some completely not illegal burgers. My shop. Uh, where is he? There? I guess I see something red. Oh, it's a shame that they forgot. You know, smuffle guy, like just nope. regular old plain smuffle guffins. You knew this. I don't think whoa, whoa, whoa. Somebody who just blatantly does smuffle guffins. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I am a smuffle guffin. 
from life to death, I will be a smuggle up in person all the time. And that's why are we getting into more? If I ever find him, I'll be shocked. Really? Thank you. Would you chill out? They don't need to die. He's giving me a ticket. Of course he needs to die. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, Where's my sister? But it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That that's, that sounds like a good idea. Oh. What the hell? Oh my god. So this is your bedroom, huh? Mm -hmm. It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. What the? All right, partner. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit! This rules! Ah, like a bird. Damn, you're just like a TonyHawk.com jetpack pro. Three of us, and we all shoot guns at bad guys. Hmm. I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry. Also gun. Nice! Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You could fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Oh, wait. Hey, quit around there with on your new toy. Your sister is figuring out. Oh, and I have some new bounties for you. How long are we gonna stand here? Sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Um, he's probably hot. Oh come on. I don't I know. Haven't seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me. You don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. 
You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. She's just trying to help. Excuse me? No, sorry, but I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this tweed guy pregnant, and then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! It, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Tweed to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off. Just grow up and get used to me and Tweed. Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Can I stay out of this? Uh, he can date who she wants, Thank I you. guess. Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Jean, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Sure, but... You, yeah, know. you know, I appreciate you having my back, but, uh, maybe your sister's right. Or not. What do I care? Team Jean, baby! No, 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 no. I want to talk to her. And broke his crown. Hey, are we cool? You were kind of coming at me pretty hard during that argument. And just what? remember, like, we're siblings, what? right? And you're all I've got left right now. And Jean's a piece of shit. I literally backed you up twice and he oh, won. Cool. You got yourself another talking gun? And this one's green? Wow, who cares? No one. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Be rude. My name is Gus. Not that it matters to you. What have you been up to? I'm okay. Sorry we roped you into another argument. I want you to meet Tweed, by the way. I really think you'd like him. He's really nice to me and, well, he's helping me feel a little more normal. Even though his body doesn't make any fucking sense to me and he keeps trying to take me to restaurants that don't serve anything edible to humans. But, no, he's really sweet. So don't worry about me. You can focus on killing the space mafia or whatever. Okay, but I think that's gonna be it for today. <laughs> for today. Uh, what should I add? So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!